Hey and welcome back to Barbie Dolls of the Week. This week I want to talk to you about some more new dolls that were part of my recent buying binge. And um, I've got a box here so we should probably get started. But before we do I just want to show you my Pride t-shirt that I'm wearing. Um, this was handmade by someone at the youth center I work at. So I thought this was just great very colorful and I'm trying to show you the majority of it but it's just with it being Pride Month and towards the end or getting towards the end I wanted to throw this in um, so yeah I hope you enjoy this t-shirt and the doll so let's get started now first of all I already showed you so I'm just gonna remind you of this doll here which is the Beach Glam Steven and he is from 2005, box date. Um, there's a, another picture on the back. So what I want to show you is I got two of his cohorts from that same set. So first of all, Barbie. And unfortunately the glare is an issue today. Here's a picture of her on the back. And by the way, the whole group. So it's not a large, large group, but there's six. I would love to have the Christy and the Teresa, but I don't have them yet. And I guess that might be Midge. I'm not sure who the other one is, Summer or Midge. Probably Summer. So yeah, this is Beach Glam Barbie. And then the last one I have in this series is Ken, who looks pretty good and pretty buff, I must say got a nice outfit, kind of long shorts or bathing suit I guess it is, and here's his picture on the back. I really like the face on this one. I don't know, it's just kind of different. A little bit greasy looking, but I don't know if it actually is. Okay, now moving on to another pair. Now, I recently showed you this doll, last video, I believe, um, which is the My First Ken um, Ballet Guy. I'm going to call him for, I don't know, they just call him My First Ken, Easy to Dress Ballet Partner of Barbie. And on the back, remember I showed you this picture where she's in what looks like mostly white, silvery, and pink which to me did not make sense with this outfit of his because he I mean it's not gonna look bad but it just is not the most sensible so I got him let me see if I can put him back without knocking my camera over and I found this online that I thought went better than the one that was supposed to go with him and this is my first Barbie glittering ballerina yeah, glittering ballerina. And she's in the blue and kind of blue and a little bit of silver outfit. And I just think they look so much better together. In fact, let me show you them together. And I know the colors look good together just holding them next to each other. I mean, they're not a perfect match, the colors, but I think it's close enough that I like it. And here's this picture of her, by the way. They don't have one of her on the back. I wish they did, or, or her, her and her partner, if she had one. Uh, just of these other fashions you could collect of other dolls, with other dolls. So yeah, this is her, the one I had mentioned in the last video that I was watching and probably going to bid on, so I got her. Um, yeah, they're, the time frame is similar, by the way. This one, I think, is maybe 92. I can't quite see it. And this one was maybe 90, is 91. So they're very similar in time. Let me set those down. And then now I want to show you some other dolls that uh, I got, including this Palm Beach Steven. Now actually, just to let you know, this one I didn't actually order and I still got it. So you're asking yourself, well, how? Well, because the guy sent me the wrong doll, or I think it was a guy. 
here's uh, the whole crew. Now, see, this one has four, five, six, seven, eight dolls. That's that's a lot. Now, these are from 2001, box date. So, I ordered that can that I just showed you from Beach Glam. And the guy mixed up and sent me this one. So, of course, I emailed him or messaged him on uh, eBay and said, well, what can we do? Because I got the wrong doll. So what should we do? Or what should you do? And he said, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I mixed it up. Can you mail the, mail it back? And I'll pay for the shipping and blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, here's the thing. I actually don't mind keeping him. But I want the doll that I bought. So I do want you to send me that one. But what if I just did a buy it now for this for fifteen dollars? Because he had a buy it now best offer kind of thing for more like thirty dollars, and I don't know why it was that much. Um, he agreed to that, so I kept this doll, and then he sent me that doll. So I think it worked out fine. Everybody can make a mistake; wasn't a big deal as long as you correct your mistake. Uh, but this is a nice set. The only thing is. I don't intend to get uh, any more of the dolls because those are painted on bathing suits on the women. And I don't appreciate that at all. So I don't plan on getting them. I don't need them anyway. But yeah, I got this one. He'll be my one representative probably from that group unless I was to get Ken later, which I don't really have a strong desire to do. But yeah, this is Palm Beach Steven. And he has a, a very interesting face, I think. It's a little different than some of the others in that type of style. Um, now, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Easter dolls that uh, Mattel has come out with in the past. I don't know that they're still doing this, but... Yeah, when I saw this one, I was like, oh, this is so nice. It's such a pretty doll, and I love the dress. Just love it. It's very colorful and springy. It says, color magically appear with cool water um, I guess on the eggs so here she is and there's a better view of her face very pretty face and dress just a really nice doll I think and then it gives you Easter activity ideas on the back and of course as you can see the box they did a really good job designing these boxes sometimes like this one to fit the occasion, in this case, Easter. So it's called Easter Delights Barbie, and I'm sure there was a Caucasian one as well, but I wanted this one. And that's the one I found and got. Now these um, next several dolls I got all from the same seller who seemed to be selling a very large collection of African-American Mattel dolls. So this is the first one I'm showing you. Okay, and then here's another one that also beautiful dress. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it's just so simple. But it also looks to be a really good material. This is Barbie Spring Day, or Spring Day Barbie. It was uh, bought at KB Toys for $4.99, it looks like. Uh, so, another Spring Barbie on the first day of summer. <laughs> so... Um, and then, you know, on these, they always did show Fashion Avenue possible um, outfits. Spring Day Fashion Avenue, and it gives you the number in case you want to look for it. I, you know, I never look for these by number, but like maybe some people do. Especially on eBay, it might help, I don't know. Because if you don't know a name, a number would be helpful. I don't like her face quite as much. Something's weird about the hair and the face. This one I'm a little disappointed in person uh, with that look versus online. And I don't know if you can kind of see what I'm talking about, but her hair looks kind of smashed on her head and to me it looks greasy. Like, I hope there's not that glue issue going on there. I think this is a little early for that. This is, um, let's see, box date is 2000 for this. So, this could have been a spring one, too, but it's just, well, it is a spring one. I meant to say Easter. This could have been an Easter doll as well, but it's Spring Day Barbie. I didn't even know they did, like, spring Barbies, but I think these were more for, you know, a grocery store or KB, that kind of place. Not typical big toy stores. I don't know. 
this that's the way it strikes me okay and then speaking of store Barbies here's one that is a store Barbie that is called Woolworth's special edition special expressions so it's doubly special Barbie here's a good picture of her on the back here's a little wild on there doesn't look as wild in the box and unfortunately this is sealed but um, her head is really turned so you can't see her as well dress is a really pretty color I'm not thrilled with the overall look of it but it's okay um, I got her for a really good deal she is from 1991 it looks like box date again here's a good picture of her uh, with the shoes that match and this poofy little skirt I mean, it looks so much better, the outfit does, in the picture. Her hair looks better in the box because it's calmer. Not as, you know, huge. I mean, I always talk about big 80s hair, but man, with Mattel, some of the 90s, early 90s and late 80s hair was huge. And this one is not as bad, like I said, in person. She's got a pretty face, pretty eyes. Unfortunately, it's hard to show it in this these conditions. But... There's about as probably as good as I can get. It's just sometimes the sun is just such that it makes uh, this hard to do with a great picture on it. Um, just a couple more or three more for today. One is this I thought was a really cool doll I'd never heard of or seen before. And again, I assume they had a Caucasian and African American. This is, of course, the African American because that's what I prefer, and also what this particular person was selling. So this is Disney Celebration 30th Anniversary Barbie. So um, I'm going to show you the back first this time because that's a really nice box and picture, and it talks about yet another dr Disney dream came true when Walt Disney Resorts opened its door 30 years ago. Let's celebrate with Barbie. She shimmers in the midst of the anniversary magic. So I guess this is specific to the resorts. Um, it's got a very celebratory box. Mickey on the side. This I don't think I've ever had one for something for Disney because I'm not a huge Disney person, but this is a really nice doll. And let me see if I can... There, maybe that helps. Lovely dress. Unfortunately, there's no picture of her on the box. I think that would have been good. They could have fit it in somewhere. Uh, but she's got hearts on her bodice. And this, you know, dress that reminds me of Minnie Mouse is what it reminds me of. And she's got a beautiful face. Um, there's another doll. Let me see if it's this one. I think her face is similar to, oh no, that's not that one, but one of the other ones I have, her face is very similar. And um, she's kind of light skinned, but just beautiful, you know, regardless of skin tone. And red cape, it looks like. Yeah, just have you guys ever seen this doll? Uh, Mickey and Minnie on the front. I'm surprised there's not more Disney characters on here. It's just Minnie and Mickey. Well, except for in this little tiny box, so I take that back. It's just hard to see exactly who all's in there, but there are some others I see. And you guys can see that very well. Okay, so, um, last two dolls, and I saved the best for last. These, I'm so happy to finally have some of these dolls, and especially in the African-American version. So, here's the first one, and the box is not perfect on this one. Um, you know, these dolls, I like the boxes, but they're prone to damage because of how they're designed, I believe. So, this is the, let's see, Birthstone Collection, and this one is for August. Um, I don't know how you pronounce that. Is it Peridot? I'm not really sure. Uh, but look at this doll. Gosh, isn't that gorgeous? The face, let me try this again, her face is gorgeous, maybe I could, eh, I don't want to ruin that box even more, but see the, the top is loose, is what the problem is with this one, 
Um, but it's attached in the back. It's, so it's, you'd be tearing it off possibly by doing that. Um, so I'd rather open her from the bottom, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so look at that pretty, pretty dress. I mean, or gown, whatever you want to call it. Shimmery. In this case, it's green. So I assume Peridot is a green. I'm not really familiar with those, so I don't know for sure. And I just love her face and her hair. Beautiful makeup. Um, one thing I like is she's not, like, goofy smiling. She's just got, you know, I wouldn't call this a resting bitch face. I wouldn't call it that. It's just a face, like a modeling face. And she kind of reminds me of Naomi Campbell, this one. Uh, the, just that overall look, to me, is Naomi Campbell's look. So, it's just a beautiful doll. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with this series. I mean, obviously they have one per month. And I believe they have a Caucasian and African American version for each. So, yeah, this is August. Now, the last one I want to show you is for... Get this one here. See if this box doesn't fall over. There we go. Um, this is the same collection, but for February. And this is uh, Amethyst. This is even, to me, much prettier, the purple versus the green. I love, love, love this one. And this and the January one were my favorites of what she had listed, but I didn't win January, and that's okay because I spent enough. Um, and I was just happy to get one, let alone two of these. But these are dolls I've always wanted since I first saw them, and they've just been really hard to get. Um, she has got that same basic face and just a little different makeup, of course, and the hair's a little different, but it's the same basic style. Same thing with the dress, same basic style, but in a different color. And I think they were all the same way. So they would have 12 different colors of this dress, two different versions of each one. And as you see, the back is pretty plain. But it tells you about that doll or that co this collection and also the month and the birthstone. So, beautiful, beautiful dolls. If you can get your hands on one of these, I certainly recommend it. Not mine, but two others or one other. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. I know this video went a little longer than normal, but I had a lot to show you. <laughs> so, have a good day and try to stay cool. Enjoy the summer. Bye-bye.